The creature is often used by his master as an agent of destruction, wreaking harm and even death on the hapless victim. Expressionless, eyes blank, the soulless zombie is incapable of feeling the slightest pity. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, it's a, a 201. Swales. Swales. Uh, yes, it's the um, plumbing again. If you could please send. Hmm? Well, well, if he's ill, then no, he can't. Okay. Yeah, uh, but definitely tomorrow. Hmm? Different, different room. Right, well, th I'm your host, Sir Dickie Benson, and welcome to the show that dares to debunk the dark tales of urban legend as we ask, is it horror or hokum? First tonight on Horror or Hokum, the sinister story of the blue collar vampire. For several years, a very strange rumor has been doing the rounds. It goes like this. Late at night, there are three loud knocks on a hotel room door. If answered, a ghastly pale man in a blue boiler suit, speaking with an Eastern European accent, very Bella Lugosi, claims to be an electrician, a telephone repairman, or a plumber. If the unsuspecting occupant is foolish enough to admit the stranger, he or she is found the next morning very, very dead. The helpless authorities are said to be hushing up the details because the victims are always found completely drained of blood. Sure, okay. Yeah, uh, come in, come in. Sorry. Hmm. 
Coffee? No. I do not drink coffee. They said the repair guy was ill. Yeah. Wales. I think I'll have the drink now. <laughs> Despite no supporting evidence, stories still roll in of these terrifying creatures coming up from the sewer systems to roam the streets, and sometimes even making their way through the plumbing up into some unfortunate soul's bathroom. Now that one really is hokum. <laughs> 